afternoon and welcome back to Exploring Women Artists. My name is Maritza and today we're going to be learning about Adriana Vara Zhao. Um, she is a Brazilian artist who is very famous for her ceramic work, um, specifically in tiles. And um, she calls these tiles, they're famous in Brazil and Portugal and Spain, um, called azulejos. They're a type of glazed tile that um, is used a lot in Spanish and Portuguese architecture. So um, tiles used on walls or um, in this case in art, she uses them in art. And so a lot of her tiles um, are, a lot of her work in general is inspired by um, the colonization of Brazil, so post um, colonization of Brazil. Um, so when the Spanish and the Portuguese came to um, South America and um, colonized Brazil, they also brought a lot of their art, um, which is where she um, gets a lot of inspiration from her artwork, not only through the Azulejos, but um, in a lot of other aspects on, of her art. Today, we are gonna be focusing specifically on the Azulejos, though, um, because today's project is going to be making your own Azulejo or your own tile coaster. Um, I will get into that a little bit later. I'm gonna tell you a little more about her work. Um, so, as I said, a lot of European colonizers coming over to North and South America influenced her art. So, a lot of her, the tiles specifically, um, that is found in a lot of Spanish and Portuguese architecture, um, inspired her work with tiles. And the colors that are used so often in her tiles, which are blue and white, were inspired by um, Dutch colonizers, a lot of their art is strictly um, different shades of blue and white. So a lot of her inspiration is from post-colonial Brazil, meaning after Brazil was colonized, by um, different European countries. So um, she has a lot of um, different tile work and most of her tile work is very large scale so she makes installations which are covered in tiles or um she she creates walls with smaller tiles with different um designs on them and most of her her color scheme is usually that blue and white that i described um as very typical in dutch art so a lot of her tiles are are um, a mix of different shades of blue and white, and a lot of them are um, sort of inspired by the ocean um, and waves. So a lot of her tiles have have waves on them, um, and I will put a link in the description of this video so that everyone can check out examples of some of her tiles, which are cool. Um, so she has a lot of blue and white tiles, but she also um, started doing this um, this mix between geometric and um, ge geometric and blue and white, the very typical tile work, um, and started mixing them with the, what she calls repulsive, um, which basically means gross. But she started creating these these tiles, these walls of tiles that, um, and she, she creates the appearance of a rip or, or a scratch through the, um, through the tile work. And it opens up and you see what looks like flesh, like human flesh. And, um, what the tiles are supposed to represent are like a, 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 a cut through your skin and that opens up and then you can see the flesh and what's inside your body. So that's kind of what she does in a lot of her more recent installations and tile work. Um, but today, um, we're not gonna be focusing on the, um, the repulsive or the, the fleshy aspect of her art, but today we're going to be making our own azulejos or our own version of those. So what you're gonna need is some cork board, 
which I have here. It's what you use, um, what's used on bulletin boards. Um, and if you don't have cardboard, that's fine. You can also use cardboard. Um, you're also going to need a blank piece of paper, things to draw with, glue, and tape. So, for those of you who don't know what a coaster is, you use it underneath um, drinks so that the condensation or the water on the outside of a glass doesn't um, create marks on any hard wood surfaces. Um, so I know my mom likes me to use coasters on my dining room table because she doesn't want to leave water rings. So that's what a coaster is for. And today we're going to be making our own Azulejo inspired coasters. So first you're going to need, um, again, cardboard or corkboard, and you can cut out a square out of this. I recommend five inches by five inches or smaller because that is the um, approximate size of a coaster or a wall tile. Um, so five by five, I recommend using a ruler um, so that you can measure it and make sure it's a square. And then cut it out and you're going to make the same size square on a blank piece of paper. And on the blank piece of paper, you're going to design your own coaster. And it can be whatever you want. Um, but since we are getting inspiration from this project from Adriana Varajau, um, I recommend making it look like a tile because she does a lot of work on her tiles, on tiles. Um, and I also recommend sort of using her color scheme, which as I mentioned is dark blue, different shades of blue, and white. Um, but you can also stray, you can um, decorate it however you like. Um, as you can see, I did not use the, the blue and white scheme, um, but I thought that this would look cool um, on my dinner table or coffee table, whenever I use it. And I used some geometric patterns um, and this color was a little bit inspired by her um, use of flesh in her more recent installation. So, as you can see, um, this is the corkboard that I cut out and this is the design that I did on the paper. So, once you're done designing the piece of paper, which is what your coaster is going to look like, um, I recommend getting some tape. Um, it doesn't matter what kind of tape it is, as long as it's clear. The wider the pieces of tape, the better, because um, it'll cover more of the, the paper. And I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but I used scotch tape to, um, I, I used tape to cover the entire surface of my paper, and that is because um, if the paper with your design on it gets wet, which is what coasters are for, the markers or whatever materials will start to bleed and the paper will get wrinkly. So to protect the paper from water damage, you're going to cover the entire thing with tape. Um, and to make it as um, unnoticeable as possible, you want to keep the tape close to each other, try not to overlap, but get the pieces of tape as close to each other as possible. And um, you wanna just press down around the edges and where the tape overlaps, if it does overlap, and you wanna press it down because that will make the tape as transparent as possible. So once you cover the entire front of the decorated piece of paper with tape, you can glue the paper to the cord cork board or the cardboard, whichever you use, and um, you want to let it dry. And I recommend putting something heavy on top of this just so that it stays flat and you make sure that um, the, the pressure from anything that you put on top keeps the paper and the cork board together. Um, and then you have a coaster and you can use it on um, a coffee table or your table or in your room, whatever you prefer. And you can make multiple of these. I know that I'm going to make a couple of blue ones and try to do some waves. 
um, because that's what Adriana Vara Zhao uses a lot. So, um, again, once you know how to make one, the others, if you do want to make them, are easy. So, um, I hope you enjoy and I hope you make these tiles and share them with us. You can use hashtag loveartsphereinc on our social media and um, all instructions and pictures and examples will be uploaded to the ASA blog under multi multicultural lesson plans. Um, and I hope you guys share because I would love to see what kind of tiles and co tile coasters you guys make. Um, thank you guys so much for watching.